Hi everyone, it's Angela with Create Your Future. Happy Saturday. I am back with a new video this week. So I am going to talk about using those things in our reality that show up that we have maybe labeled as negative, bad, and trying to change the mindset around those things so that we can actually use those as a prompt, a motivation to help us get to where we're going, to help us get to the better thing, to help us um, continue to press on and get to the better outcome. So I wanna talk about that. And if that's you, if you find yourself right now in a situation and you think, this is the worst, this is so impossible, how did I get here? I want to help you change your mindset and help this work to your advantage, okay? So I do want to remind you that we are giving away a free course, How to Find Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast. This is a great course. It helps you identify those mindsets that are just keeping you away from that desire because that's all that it is. It's a mindset within you that you can redirect and change to get to the thing that you want to get to your manifestation. So a great course, check below in our description box to find that link. Also, I have a course out, Awaken to I Am, that is all about recognizing you are the I Am. Everything in your experience is coming from you and you call the shots. You can direct outcomes by stepping into your power state in realizing that you you hold it all, you're the key to everything. There's nothing outside of you that's dictating what you can and cannot have, it's in you. And you can have, do, be anything. So that course is foundational, but it's, it's powerful in helping you wherever you are in your journey. Because I, I go back to this every day, I start my morning reminding myself of who I am, uh, bringing my awareness, um, into the fact that I am in charge of this reality and I'm going to make this day be what I want it to be. So it's good for you wherever you are in your manifesting journey. Um, also, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one and you want some coaching, look down below, sign up for coaching. I can help you in any way at all. Um, just be there for you as a support in your journey and answer your questions, help you with um, finding those blocks and create intentions. So anything at all that you want help with on coaching, sign up and I would love to work with you. Okay, guys, let's talk about negative circumstances that come into our experience. Um, when something comes in that we have, maybe we've labeled it as negative. Remember, nothing is really good or bad. It's our perception and, and it's what we label something to be. But something coming in, I'll say, that is not in alignment with our preference. We usually begin by trying to change it outwardly. We fight it. We resist it. Sometimes we want to avoid it. We run from it. You know, we do all sorts of things outwardly instead of going within and doing that work internally. Because I, what I want you to see here is that when these things come in, it's just a calling card giving you the opportunity to level up and to see things differently and in a better perspective and have better outcomes, okay? So Neville says, don't, you know, try to change people. Look at, look at the people in your life simply as messengers reflecting your internal story and go within and change self. No one to change but self, right? So... We don't, we don't have to go outward. In fact, usually when we do go outward and we try to fight with that circumstance and fight with that person and try to do everything we can outwardly, usually it does not accomplish anything for us. It makes the situation worth, worse and we don't have much success there. So that experience or that version of someone that's showing up or you know, that negative thing that we don't like is simply the calling card, the opportunity, the open door for you to have that something better. 
It's showing you that you need to adjust and work on something internally, right? So if, if we don't have that crisis situation show up, sometimes we will stay in a situation, um, an environment, a setting that has become stagnant, that has become sometimes toxic, that has become sometimes unhealthy. And we are designed to grow and expand and to continue moving upward, upward, upward in our journey. So these experiences are are that very thing. It's the opportunity for us to have better. Now, when I say better, I'm not saying, you know, that you have to have a better person, right? If we want our person, then we want our person. That is the better for us because it's what we want. But what about a better version of your person? So if you have um, a relationship and you know, your, your partner is not treating you the way that you want to be treated and you're not in agreement with things in the relationship and in your life. And that's creating contention and your person, you know, maybe wants to leave the relationship. It doesn't mean that you have to have a better person, but it means now that you can go within and begin to realize your worth, your value, that you know, you deserve your person to support everything that you want within the relationship. You deserve your person to um, give you that respect, that commitment. You deserve someone that's on board with everything that you want. And you can begin to now recognize your worth and then see your person differently. See them showing up differently. Create a new story within you about your person and it's going to be based on your worth right you don't have to change what you want in the relationship you don't have to change your expectation um or what's right for you but you begin to realize that you deserve that you deserve everything that you want you deserve to be treated the way you want and then you begin to believe in that and then see your person showing up so what I'm talking about here, when I say don't try to change the person, when Neville's saying don't change the person, you know, look at them as a messenger, you're changing that story about your worth and what you believe um, you deserve, and then you're changing that story of the person, right? So it's an opportunity to grow in that relationship, but it's going to be a better relationship. The version version of your person, person, if I can speak, that shows up is going to be better. So we we move out of a, a place maybe where it's not been the best, right? The situation that you don't like, the situation that is not in alignment with really what we want to have is prompting us to begin to evaluate our inner our internal story. And it's the story that we hold of self. It's the story that we hold of, you know, what we deserve. It's the story of how we've seen our person. And it's believing that our person can show up differently. It's the same thing for a work environment, right? Um, it, if something has come into your work experience, that maybe it's a crisis situation and you feel like, oh, this is a terrible thing. If you can begin to look at it as an opportunity for change, that's going to take you to a better place. It doesn't mean that you have to leave your job, but maybe the dynamics within that job are going to change. And at first it's a shaking up, right? It, it looks like it's nothing that you would really want. But change sometimes feels uncomfortable. And sometimes we have to be pushed and prompted in order to examine ourselves internally and then get to that new experience, that new experience in the workplace. Maybe through all of this shaking up, it's something that's going to give you a promotion, right? Or a raise or a different work environment within your company where you're going to work with different people and it's going to be better and more settled and more comfortable. So these, these changes 
um, are like growing pains, right? Because we should always be growing, evolving, leveling up in our internal story. I like to say leveling up because it's like we're going from glory to glory to glory. We're always ascending in our understanding. And it's it's human nature to want to protect immediately. When something out there seems to be a threat and it's um, not what we think we want, we, we put our defenses up and we want to fight it. But it's just part of our evolving. It's part of our growth. It's part of our expansion and our, our understanding of who we are because at the core, we are unlimited consciousness. And if we didn't have these things come in, these things that look like challenges, then we wouldn't be pushed and prompted to begin to go within and do this work and to become expansive and to grow the understanding. We need a prompt. We need a push. It's our desires that are pushing us to do internal work, right? So begin to begin to look at these experiences as opportunities. It's someone opening the door saying, come through the door and discover who you are and grow and create better experiences with your person within the job that you have, um, in your family, you know, create new stories and, and focus on better outcomes from this place where you're uncomfortable in the moment because you want to see something better come out of it, right? So I know that sometimes those experiences are painful. I, I get it uncomfortable probably to say the least but if you can just you know wrap your head around the idea that it's here for you it's here for you to move forward it's here for you to grow it's here for you to have you know that relationship that you truly deserve with that person you know seeing them as the very best version of themselves rewriting the story of them um, having, you know, great pay at that job and you have to go through that transition to get there. So try to embrace these things, you know, embrace them and recognize them as being here to help you get to the, the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, because there is light. There is that um, great new beginning. It's a new beginning for that relationship even if it's the same person, but the relationship has been stagnant, there's been unfavorable things. Well, it's a new beginning for that relationship. It's a new beginning in your work environment. Whatever it is, it's the opportunity for you to have something great. So I, I want you to, you know, begin to change your thinking, put it into a different perspective, begin to say, this is here for me. This is here for me to get something great. This is here for me to have something better than I ever even imagined. This is here prompting me in my growth and in my journey. So I want you to really be encouraged in that. And, and don't feel like you're a victim. Don't feel like life has just, you know, dumped this terrible thing upon you. Begin to, as you process it, and even grief, that's okay if you go through that grieving part at first as you're understanding the journey. But it's here for me, moving me forward to great things, amazing things, things better than I ever would have imagined if I hadn't been forced to face the circumstance, right? To face this thing and not run from it, not try to avoid it, um, not try to fight it in the 3D not try to engage in the 3D and move it and make it conform outwardly, but to go within and begin to make the changes there. Guys, you can just, you can have any circumstance change when you begin to go with the flow, allow it to be there and begin to examine. It's gonna force you to examine those stories 
about who you think you are, about what you think your value and your worth is, about who you really think your person is. You know, what story have you been telling about them? If it's a romantic partner, if your person in the moment is a boss, or if it's a family member, it's going to cause you to examine those things and rewrite those stories and make them the very best that you can make them. There's no limit on how amazing and wonderful you can make your story. I want you to know that too. There's no limit. I mean, you can create the best possible scenario and have it show up in your 3D when you begin to focus in on that and know that you're worthy of that. So I hope this really motivated you and it's encouraged you, especially if you have been feeling bad about your current 3D, feeling like you've done something wrong, feeling like, you know, this is what I'm worth. This is my life. No, this is here to help you realize your worth so much more and to understand your value and to change those stories. So I intend you're really motivated by this video. And if you want to work with me and have someone change those internal stories and help you rewrite, you know, the story of your life and those things that you've been living that you don't like, sign up for coaching and I would love to help you on your journey. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your comments, the feedback. It means a lot to me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.